All right, well, I'd like to welcome you to the demonstration of my Scuba Pocket Guide app. So I built this app with the intention of it being made by a diver for fellow divers. And the idea with this is that it gives divers the ability to look at different Caribbean dive sites and be able to learn about different conditions that exist at the dive site, a brief description, and then also lists off any type of animals or wildlife that's present at the dive site that could potentially pre present a danger or just nice to look at. Uh, additionally, at the dive site or on this website, what I've also wanted to do was make it the Swiss Army knife of dive applications. So what I mean by that is I wanted to allow the divers to be able to look up different weather conditions, be able to log their dives each time, and then also be able to look up any type of educational material such as hand signals and gear. Now, what I've done is to, on this homepage, I wanted to give it this nice travel look, so get people excited to go diving. And then anytime a diver comes in, they can log in or they can create their own account using the diver sign up here. Um, and on this page, I have validations on my back end using Ruby on Rails. Uh, with this back end, the user uh, can put in all these different information. And if any of their information does not fit the validations I put on the back end, it will not allow them to sign in. Additionally, I put in this user agreement pop up. So uh, just for terms of service to make sure people agree to that and they have to agree to that. Additionally, on the back end, I'm also using Ruby authentication and authorization, um, in addition to bcrypt encryption for their password. Uh, since I've already set up my own account, we're just going to go ahead and just log myself in. So I'll do that. Put in this. Let's go ahead and log in. And all right, so now you can see that I actually popped up with my little diver icon up here at the top, and then also gave us the ability to put in a dive log entry and a diver profile. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and take a look at our dive sites. So in the dive sites, as I said before, I wanted to focus on the Caribbean dive site regions. Um, this search works, so you can type in the name of the country or you can type in the name of the specific dive site. Uh, since I got my certification in Jamaica, I'm a little bit uh, biased on this. So let's take a look at Jamaica. Uh, airport reef great dive site now here in this you can see that it tells you what the rating is from other divers the average depth and then you know the skill level with a brief description and then also presents the different wildlife that are present and you'll notice that any that present a potential threat or harm to the diver have a warning label underneath them um, so that's something we add I added on on the back end to make sure that that would pop up any time that these fish were uh, that any of these were fish were um, were demonstrated or shown now if we move on to uh, additionally, I've added on to the diver profile here. So you can see here's my own diver profile. I have my name, certification level, and then I also have my interdive logs. These are the dive logs I put in previously, and it can show you each of the dive sites. And I've been to many more, but these are for demonstration. Uh, and then specifically, we also have the dive log entry form. So again, you can put in all the information for your dive number, dive site, where you, you came into the water, when you got out of the water, your depth and PSI of your error, all those things. So you can add all that. Again, these also use validations to make sure that the user is inputting the correct information before uh, the input or before it can be saved. Uh, additionally, I gave the diver the ability to look up different dive site weather conditions. So let's take a quick look at one. So my favorite is Montego Bay, uh, Jamaica. So there's the weather in Montego Bay. It's currently 84 degrees. Sounds really nice. Um, so this is how you can look up different weather. And this is tying into an external API. While my information with um, the different dive sites and the, the uh, animals and wildlife at each of those dive sites is an actual internal uh, database I put on, or API I put on the back end that I'm tying to. Additionally, I have information on hand signals. I have an about section uh, where you can read about me and about the app and then a quick conservation section as well. Um, additionally, if the person wants to, they can always log out and then it'll return right back to the home page. Uh, so finally, what I'd like to do in the future, a few add-ons to this is, for example, in the hand signals, I'd like to add more to this where it can become uh, like an actual educational page where you can look up gear, you can look up first aid, anything that you need as a diver. So I'd like to expand off of that. Additionally, I like it where you can add comments into each section and that's something I plan to work on in the next upcoming uh, rendering of this app. 
Uh, so thank you so much, and that is my app.